what's up guys so yesterday on the friday i just had my blood transitions i was hoping to come for the blood transitions on thursday instead but just so happened uh, this friday yesterday which was is my doctor consultations because they normally have the friday clinic which the doctor will be around i actually seen the doctor now every not often so kind of like four months is my next uh, doctor consultation just so happened uh, because the date which i will be seeing so the doctor will be leaving kind of for vocation or some uh, something on going on so he was postponed me to the the following month i think it's the form four month plus from now i normally seeing her three to four months so yesterday during my blood transition i have the doctor consultation with her the doctor ang ai ling is my hematology doctor so i was the last patient so normally the same routines when i go in i greet the doctor they explain to me how i might going they they feel my tummy my spleen my liver how whether it's enlarged or not i feel my heartbeat and later sit down and discuss that my this he going through all my previous uh, blood tests then he looked through and he told me i think he did in like research already already know uh, before just looking again yesterday on some of my other blood test result she already know uh, she already looked through the blood test i can tell uh, that she immediately tell me by before looking through the blood test that said the my this hepatitis b kind of the level can be low because it's, she was saying to, uh, you know patient who are on blood transfusions are advised to keep the uh, this hepatitis uh, b level above the 100 i think the measurements is measured in the mcg yeah so it's uh, mine is slightly below for that range i think during my cross match uh, the other day or the the previous time the um, three weeks before so i have done the uh, blood test the doctor have prescribed the, the hepatitis b uh, blood test together with the full blood count that i always come for cross met for uh, together with it and the reading the results show it's a little low and the doctor was advised so why not we give you an uh, hepatitis b jet kind of a uh, vaccine today during a blood transition i'll say what what vaccine is that is it uh inserted through the three-way tap uh into the vein and through the hand say no this is normally uh, because i messed up the procedure i thought it's a uh, half in lasik form just insert through the, the tube the vein tube but it's not it's just a just a small leader inserted to the syringe and just a uh, pocket in into your this uh, arm area yeah normally they have it in children but if the reading run low meaning the hepatitis b is running out the vaccines do they have to replace it and yesterday i did this is the water is uh, one of that uh, they inject two water for me yeah so i, I say i want to keep the bottle for souvenir this is the bottle itself yeah they give me two Inside to them and valves. They, they insert two valves, I think, for my, for my case. Uh, this is kind of, I show you the junior dose. Yes, the DNA, hepatitis B vaccines uh, in other languages. I'm not sure what other languages that doubt that show what, what, what kind of language is that. Yeah and well, on the side they have like one dose it's the 0 0.5 ml contains yeah the measurement 10 u kind of g suspended for injections so a bit pain when it's said uh, no no real pain like sharp pain uh, normally just like uh, insert the needle the feeling yeah it's more severe than a ends bite but uh it's is uh, around the pain for the cross matching i will assume uh, around that pain maybe slightly uh not as pain as that but it's also also can feel the pain the sharp pain 
after that the plaster is being placed on the place where the needle is infused but it's getting through though it's not, not that pain it didn't have any swollen or what just put a plaster over it so just to share with you if the your level for the hepatitis B is low you might have a higher possible charge of getting hepatitis B so prevention is better than cure so there is a the doctor is better observer always uh, when the measurement or reading is not uh, is low and could result in other consequences in long terms the doctor like to prevent it in the first place before it occurs so thanks for watching hope you have a nice weekend